Hey everybody, this video brings us out to Florida because that is where I live now. That is where I reside. I am now officially 100% a Florida resident. A lot has changed over the last couple of months and honestly, a lot has changed over the last year. Big, huge, gigantic changes in my life over the last year and big, huge, gigantic changes coming over the next couple of months, over the next year, over the next who knows how many more months of... Uh, of my life but so far i'm pretty happy things are things are good things are looking up i am happy to be here in beautiful not too crazy sunny today florida in fact it's actually about six o'clock in the afternoon i um i had to put off filming today because it's been raining all day long finally just stopped raining so i figured i'd come out and do this video because i really wanted to do this video today because today is a very, very special day for me. Today is June 19th, 2024, which marks the second year anniversary of Retro Rest Stop. I have been doing this channel now for two years. That is kind of crazy. The time has just completely flown by. With that being said, for those of you who do, who, who do know me and have followed me for some time now, you may know that I have been doing YouTube since, um, what, 2011, I think is when I first started doing YouTube. I had another channel called Cinema Sickness, ran that for many, many years, decided to kind of abandon that channel and really focus on this channel, which for me is more fun. It's more interesting. I get to do something new every day. Some days I go out and thrift. Some days I take a look at a roadside attraction. Some days we go to Disney. Every day is something different, is something fun, is something unique. I look into my life and what it is I am doing. I've been loving filming for this channel. It's been a ton of fun. So I really enjoy what I'm doing. I really enjoy this channel. Today we're actually in a housing development that I do not know the name of. I've, um, I've done some thrifting here before. They were having a, a town-wide or a community-wide yard sale a couple of weeks ago. Picked up some good deals, right? right over there but i was driving down the road looking for a place to film saw this housing complex with the pool right next to i believe that's lake avalon over there and i thought why not pull over and check out this little park the pool actually looks really nice i have my own personal private pool at my house but i wouldn't mind jumping in there right now because the um the storm did bring in the humidity it's a little humid out right now but anyway so the second year anniversary of retro rest up. I'm psyched. I'm pumped. This is awesome. This is so much fun. Again, I've been just having a blast with this channel, with my old previous channel, Cinema Sickness, where I shot a video every single day related to the collecting of, of movies, the, the collecting of cinematic media. It was fun, but having to go out and thrift every day or film an abundance of thrifting videos and unboxing videos and all kinds of whatever videos that had to do with, um, with the collecting of cinematic media, just having to, to constantly film that all the time. It got kind of old. This channel, again, I've been having so much fun just kind of filming what I want, anything I want, whatever comes to mind, whatever I happen to be up to, whatever I happen to be doing. And I like that you guys have been uh, following along and joining me on all my fun adventures because I've been having a lot of really fun adventures with uh, with my son and with uh, with Max and and with Danielle and, and with my friends and so many more fun adventures coming over the next um, however long I decide to uh, to run this channel. Hopefully for the, forever. I would love to just do this channel forever. This was kind of like what I wanted to be doing over on my, my other channel back when I, well, not too long after I started Cinema Sickness, my other channel, I realized I kind of want to be filming other things and I tried to incorporate that into the channel and it just, it never worked. Those videos never got any views. Nobody really watched those videos because everybody just assumed that channel was a, a again, thrifting or a physical media collecting channel, which they weren't wrong. It's pretty much what it was. And I just kind of stuck with that, but I always wanted to do a channel like this. So I'm happy that I decided to stick with this channel and keep this channel going because I had tried to start this channel up a couple of times. Uh, maybe like, I don't know, two or so years ago. Uh, or no, I guess four years ago at this point, I maybe I tried, whoa, that's, um, that is shaky. <laughs> maybe a f about four years ago or so, I um, tried to start this channel. I, I, I did it for like a, maybe like a week or two and then kind of abandoned it. 
and then I tried to do it again and once again like abandon it because I was running two channels at that time. I was running get my other channel plus this channel. It was a little it was a, it was a little difficult to um, to run two channels at the same time, especially since both this channel and the other channel were both daily uh, channels where I shot a video or had to, had to have a video out every single day. This channel, unlike the other channel, what you're seeing today is what I filmed yesterday. So what I film what I'm filming right now, you're gonna see tomorrow. It's always that way. You always get to see see what I filmed the following day. I I, I film something every single day on this channel. The other channel, I had a video out every day, but sometimes I'd film like 10 videos in one in one day sometimes. But um, anyway, so having a blast doing this channel. And I love that you guys are um, are joining me. Look at this really cool playground they have here. Look at this weird, like, I don't know what this is. I would kill myself on that. I'm going to have to bring Sean out here to this playground. Look at that. What's with the ladder? It's crazy looking. We never had anything like that when I was a, when I was a kid. That looks dangerous. This is a pretty cool playground now. I'm going to just come up here and, and take a look at the, uh, the lake. Again, I believe this being Lake Avalon, if I'm not mistaken. That is cool. Florida, they have a lot of lakes. <laughs> that's, that's one thing I've, I've come to notice with, um, with Florida, which can kind of stink sometimes because there have been many a times where I've been like, oh, I want to go over, over there. And I look at a map to figure out how to get to the whatever store I want to go to. And it's literally like, it would be like a, a two minute drive, but it ends up taking me 20 minutes to get there because I, I got to drive around some giant lake. Like I'm on this side of the lake where I want to go to is on that side of the lake and you, you can't go across it. You got to drive all the way up and around and it takes forever. So word to the, word to the wise, if you're moving to, uh, to Florida, just get, uh, get used to having to, to bypass lakes and drive around, drive around lakes. I had no idea this was here. Look at this. Never noticed this before. These little, uh, like exercise bikes and whatnot over here. There's this one, there's, um, there's something I think over there. Yeah, there's one over there. There's all kinds of little pieces of exercise equipment in the uh, the woods here. This is why I like exploring. This is why I like just walking around, going, "Oh, there's a um, there's a park. Let's go check it out." Because sometimes you stumble upon things you did not know were here, things you had no idea about, and I had no idea that uh, all of this sat in the woods here. This is interesting. I've been up and down this road a few times since I've, uh, I've moved out here. And I've seen the playground, I've seen the pool, never realized that back here was a whole bunch of uh, exercise equipment. That's pretty cool. Look at that. Pretty awesome. Again, I love exploring. I love, I love just going out, seeing things. I love history. I love telling you guys about history. I've always been that way. I've always been a nut for, for Rose Head attractions. I've always been a nut for, for his, historical things and, and history and museums and, and weird, weird little pieces of trivia here and there. I love, the, I love walking up to a house and saying, this house here you know, is, is haunted or, or there's a really cool weird backstory to this house that not many people know about. I love talking about that kind of thing. I just, I love, I love the weird and the bizarre when it comes to history. I'm trying to realize, figure out right now, am I walking in just like giant ant beds or is this just like sand? I'm hoping this is just sand and I'm not walking through like some huge giant ant bed right now. It's Florida, you never, you don't know. You don't know, you could be walking in sand or you could be walking in, um, ooh. That's a familiar sound. That's a cicada, I believe. I'm, I, I recognize, recognize that sound from, uh, from good old Pennsylvania. This says, here we go. This is the sanctuary at Twin Waters. That's where we are, at Twin Waters. This is the sanctuary at Twin Waters. Private dock, no trespassing. So I don't know if that means, I guess maybe that means me. I, I don't know, whatever. We're gonna walk down this dock anyway, because look at it, it's pretty cool. Not sure if I'm allowed to be walking down the stock. It does say private property, but I don't know if that means, I, I don't know. It didn't say anything about that at the beginning of the park. So <laughs> I don't know. So we're gonna walk down this park because I wanna check out Lake 
Avalon. Look at the uh, the lily pads. That is cool. Let me know if you guys see an alligator or anything like that. Because I'm telling you right now, there is absolutely a hundred, if not more, alligators in this lake right here. I've um, I've looked on Google Maps to see what what well, to see what the name of this lake was. Ooh, ooh, what was that? Oh, was that an alligator? Did I totally just miss an alligator? Why do I have a feeling I just, I, I think there was an alligator right there in the, uh, in the brush that just, that just went into the, um, into the lily pads. Ah, oh, they, they blend in so well. That's why you have to be really careful when you're walking around in Florida and you're walking around the, um, anywhere around the lake. Cause like the, the, the gators, they will blend into, uh, to their surroundings. I don't see the alligator. I'm sure it swam away at this point, but I think there was an alligator. I think I just missed it. Did I catch it on film? Did you guys see the alligator or whatever that was? Anyway, so I, I did look up to see the, uh, the name of this, uh, this lake before I started filming and realized it's a big lake. It goes way that way, 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 way that way. Very large, kind of like narrow lake, but it's a long, long lake. So yeah, there's, there's alligators in the, uh, in the lake here. The, the saying in Florida is if there's water, there's alligators and that's just that's just how it goes you got to be careful when it comes to uh when it comes to the um the lakes i see people swimming in these lakes sometimes and i think wow why <laughs> like it just seems like a terrible awful idea to go swimming in any lake like this i just i, I don't think i would do it i see like dozens of people doing it though so i guess it's safe i i maybe maybe there's safety in numbers maybe if you just have a a lot of people swimming the alligators will will keep their distance. I don't know, but um, I can tell you, I don't think I would want to jump in. I don't want to jump in a lake back in Pennsylvania. I'd be afraid of like snapping turtles and, and snakes and whatnot. Florida, you've got, you've got, you've got, well, I don't know. Do you have snapping? Do we have snapping turtles in Florida? I don't know. Um, we definitely have snakes that'll get you, venomous snakes. And uh, there are, again, it's alligators. Alligators are my main concern. The snakes, concern other wildlife concern alligators very much a concern i don't think i'd want to go swimming in any, any of these but a canoe would be kind of cool wouldn't mind taking a canoe out into these uh these waters that'd be kind of neat but all right guys anyway just wanted to do this video today because today again is the the two-year anniversary of retro rest stop that is how long i've been doing this channel now uh for a while there i was doing both channels this channel and my old um, thrifting channel, my old Cinema Sickness channel, which by the way, I have been putting videos back up on. They're old videos, but I've been like re-editing them um, to put like a new intro, and I've been cutting out a lot of jibber jabber back when I first started doing um, the videos on my other channel. Man, I, I, I just ramble, I mean, I ramble on this, I'm allowed to ramble on, on this channel. That channel I rambled on about just whatever, and it just made no sense because I was supposed to be talking about movies, and I'd be talking about other random things and go off of these like tangents. Uh, which again is great for this channel, not that channel. Um, so cutting out little things like that and, and editing the videos down to make them tighter and make them better and um, you know, putting a new intro in and stuff like that, a new thumbnail. So I have been like re-uploading old videos. I'm gonna continue to do that on the other channel. So some of you guys asked me, why did I take my videos down and why am I putting my, ch my videos back up? That's the reason just, um, again, making that other channel, even though I'm not doing new content, I'm no longer doing content on that other channel just to, um, I don't know, to tighten things up, to make the videos better, to make the videos again, tighter and um, look better and uh, to, to make the thumbnails all look the same because it was a mess before. So I'm, I'm working on that. I'm doing that, trying to do those like daily or at least whatever. No, no, no time. Um, no, what's I'm looking for? There's no, um, I have no idea what I'm trying to say. I don't have a um, specific time in which I put those videos out necessarily. So I'm trying to say, I just kind of do them when I when I want to do them, but I've been doing them kind of daily, but we'll see, they don't have to be. But anyway, guys, so um, like I said, I was doing this channel and the other channel together for a while there. And then I realized, you know what, let's just stick to this, this channel. I can do thrifting on this channel. I still do love going out and filming thrifting videos. I will always continue to thrift and film thrifting videos. Um, but I could just do that here. I didn't have to do that over on the other channel and then something else on this channel. I could do it all on one channel and make it a channel about 
just whatever I want, which could be thrifting, or could be a roadside attraction, or could be going to Disney, or could be just walking down a random dock I've never been to before. Again, I love this stuff. I love exploring. The fact that I can say I've I've been down this dock before, the fact that I can now I can now drive, you know, next time I drive down this road, going wherever I'm going, I can go, hey, I've, I've been down there. I've explored down there. I've seen down there. I always say get out, see things, explore, get to know your area, get to just see things. You know, don't, don't just go, oh, I've, I've, I've driven past this dock a million times. No, get out, get out of your, park your car, get out. Walk down the dock, take a look at the lake. Just get out, breathe the air, explore the world, see what there is to see. That is what this channel is all about. It's just getting out, doing things, having fun, exploring, just kind of doing whatever it is I want to do. And again, today is a two year anniversary of just doing whatever it is I kind of randomly want to do. Bringy goo goo goo, bring, whoa, what was that? Bringy goo 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 goo. <laughs> what the heck just happened to my voice there? And bringing you guys along for the um, for the ride. So I appreciate everybody out there who watches this video. I keep looking for gators. I want to see a gator. There was totally an alligator over there when we first started this video. And I, um, or when I first walked down here, I totally missed it. If you guys get, if you guys saw it in the video, leave your comments down below. I keep looking over here thinking maybe, maybe it's just like hanging out over here. It could be, it could be hanging out over here. Maybe I just don't see it. Again, they blend in so well to their surroundings. I thought that was an alligator over, or was it right, right there? It's not, an, it's not an alligator. I don't know, there could be a gator in here. Oh, I mean, I know there's a gator in here somewhere. But I totally think I missed it. I think there was a gator on the bank there. Darted into the water when it heard me. Heard me talking about it and said, I'm out of here. There's all kinds of bubbles. I, think I see like, I see bubbles and stuff coming up out of the out of the water. And I think, I don't know, could that be an alligator? It could be. There's gotta be one in here. <laughs> all right, guys. But anyway, I'm gonna let you go. Just wanted to quickly do this video, walk down here, explore this little, this little area of the park and the pool and the, the dock here that looks out over the beautiful Lake Avalon here. I believe we're in winter, I think we're in Winter Garden right now, if I'm not mistaken. Winter Garden, Florida. Beautiful day. The humidity actually has just gone away. When I when I started this video, I said it was kind of humid and it was, but um, now that the rain, the rain left, the humidity came in, but I think this wind now is kind of blowing the humidity out. It feels kind of good right now. Maybe it's just because I'm on the lake. It feels really good right here. I kind of just want to like, if, it, if the benches weren't soaked from the rain we just got, I'd probably sit down and hang out for a little bit because it's just, it's a beautiful, beautiful day right now in Florida. But all right, guys, that's going to do it again. Wanted to just say two year anniversary of, uh, of retro rest stop. And to thank you guys for coming along with me daily on my journeys, whether it be thrifting, whether it be exploring, whether it be something historical, whether it be just me hanging out or whether it be me going to the parks or whatever it be. Thank you guys for coming along with me and joining me on all my adventures. But all right, I've been rambling on now for like 20 minutes. I'm gonna let you guys go. I'm gonna look for some more alligators. If I find any, I'll take a picture and post it up on uh, on my Instagram, on Retro, retro Rest Stop on, on Instagram. I'll post some pictures, but I don't know. I don't see any, but there's got to be gators in here. All right, guys, that's going to do it. So as always, thank you all so much for checking out this video. Be sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Check down below for links to Patreon. If you guys do become a patron, I will send you a postcard every single month from the road. Those will be going out probably next week. I did pick up postcards, so I think uh, Danielle and I will sign them, and we will ship those out maybe on Monday. So those will be coming to patrons very soon. If you become a patron, you will get one as well. So I would appreciate that. Uh, also check down below for links to Spreadshirt, where you can pick up retro rest up t-shirts and buttons and uh, hats and hoodies and all kinds of cool retro rest stop stuff. I'm sorry if the, uh, the breeze is ruining the audio of this video, but it feels really good right now. Anyway, check down below for links to, like I said, spread shirt, pick up all kinds of cool stuff. There's like four different designs of um, shirts and whatnot that you can choose from. And also check down below for a link to, or no, check, or no, hit, sorry, hit the join button. Hit the join button and become a member of this channel. And if you guys do become a member of this channel, you get early access to all my videos. So you get to see my videos before that is a big wasp or something. Florida. Um, you get to see all my videos before everybody else does. You get early access to all my videos. So all that stuff helps support the show. It keeps the show going. And it's really you guys who help bring me out to places like this so we can go explore and see cool things. You guys help put some gas 
in Vanabelle so we can, we can hop in Vanabelle and go on fun adventures. And there will be many more fun adventures coming your way. I got all kinds of cool, exciting things coming in the future, all kinds of places I'm taking you, all kinds of things I'm going. I've been writing down all kinds of places I want to um, to take you to and explore with you. And there's there's a lot of places. There's a hawk. There's a lot of, or it could be a bald eagle. I think it's a hawk. Uh, mm. I was gonna say, I think it's a hawk, but that could be a bald eagle. We have those here too, which are pretty cool. I've been seeing those fly around every now and then. I don't know what that was. Anyway, guys, so all kinds of fun adventures. I'll be taking you guys, taking you guys on in the, uh, the not too distant future. So stay tuned daily for said adventures. But again, guys, that is gonna do it. So um, if you guys watch this video all the way until the very end, hashtag, just hashtag two year anniversary. If you guys watch this video all the way until the very end, get hashtag two year anniversary. I'd appreciate that guys. And again, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And if you do hit that subscribe button or you are subscribed, then I will see you guys in the next video. All right. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. All right. See you guys. See you guys tomorrow. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting tongue tied because I'm still, I'm still looking for gators. I'm still not finding any. All right. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next video. Bye. Hold on. Before I let you guys go completely, just wanted to, uh, to show you something over here, but look at this natural conservation area. No dumping, land clearing, or other disturbances to native soils or vegetation permitted beyond this point. And I'm not going to go beyond that point because I guarantee you there's gators down there in the uh, in the foliage, which I do not want to um, to mess with. But quickly, I want to show you guys something really cool over here. So, whew, again, it's getting windy over here. Is something neat because in Florida we have these things called sand hill cranes. They're these giant birds, and right here in this retention pond, there's two right there big sand hill cranes a male, I don't know which one's a male, and a female. They apparently mate for life, and supposedly, I think they're endangered. You can't actually like harm them if you get caught harming one of those. I think even I've been told, even if you're driving down the road and one of those jumps out of, out of your car, like in front of your car, and you accidentally hit a sandhill crane, I have been told you will get in trouble. I don't know if that's true or not. So even if you just accidentally hurt a sandhill crane, because I think they're endangered, you can indeed get in trouble. But pretty cool. I see those all the time, just kind of roaming around. And there have been a couple of times where I've seen them crossing the street, and all the cars have to stop and just wait for them to do whatever they're doing, crossing the street, hanging out in the street, doing whatever they have the right away the sand hill cranes kind of rule the area you have to do what they say pretty cool though i love it giant huge birds that supposedly mate for life pretty awesome again florida wildlife i love it well except for when the alligators get you but alligators are cool i actually like alligators i like seeing them from from a dock they're pretty cool if like one of them was one of them was right there it would not be so cool <laughs> All right, all right, guys, I'm losing my mind. All right, thanks for watching. Have a good one. T two years of this. <laughs> Bye.